guys, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing? Um, I am doing fantastic. This is my 2018 Explorations of Me notebook. This is just a composition notebook. Um, and actually, it doesn't have a whole lot of pages in it because I tore out a bunch of pages from some other stuff that I was doing. So uh, this is a brand new start. Like I said, it's got a little bit more than we need this year, but no big deal. And um, this is a piece of artwork that someone had sent to me, which I thought was so awesome. So I put that on the covers. And then I put some packing tape so that it won't tear or rip or stain or whatever. And then I put my name in silver letters and my initial U for Utter. I've just got a piece of fabric and string here. I've got some handmade beads. Um, these I all made. I made all of these. I all made. Is that a word? <laughs> or is that a sentence? No. Um, these are really cool. I'll have to show you guys later on this year how to make theirs. They're so simple. Um, so these are really neat. We might have to make some more of those. I don't have that many of those left. Um, they're made out of cardboard. And then we've got some pony beads and then just some beads rolled up with some nail clear nail polish on them. And a couple glass beads. So that's we just got that dangle in there. Just because we need our danglies. So welcome. Welcome to Explorations of Me. Okay, let me explain to you what Explorations of Me is. Explorations of Me. The purpose of this is to take some time out. Eat up. Uh, out. Plit, 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 plit. Can we do that again? <laughs> take some time out of your month to explore a few things about you. This can include getting out frustrations by art journaling and then creating something beautiful over top or looking deep inside and learning about yourself. Um, we hope you'll join us. This is a lot of fun. Gina and I actually started this course um, because she was doing Negativity Smackdown and I was doing Let's Make It Beautiful and we just decided let's put them together. So you can do your negativity smackdown and then let's make something beautiful out of it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, this is a jelly print somebody had sent to me, I believe. I don't believe that's one of mine. Um, same with this one. That one was somebody else. Isn't that cool? Just so cool. So anyways, that's what those are. So um, we have joining us this year, the artists that I have um, asked to join are Gina Aarons, of course. Ann Williamson is coming back again this year to um, do her Explorations of Me. And I hope you guys give a really warm welcome to Leslie McGrath. She is beyond excited to work on Explorations of Me. Um, I asked her and she was just over the moon. She just, she's so thrilled. So show her some love, okay? Let's do that. Now the Exploration of Me prompts, I will put a list on my Artsy Endeavors page. And um, it will be in the file section. So each month after the prompt comes airs, it's on the 15th of every month. After that prompt for that month airs, you will see the prompts listed on that list. All right. I hope I've got all the technical stuff out of the way because I want to create. So same as before, I'm not going to create in any order. I'm just going to open it up. What feels good? That feels good. There we go. Right there. So this month, this month's prompt, it's weird having a new book. i got to get some, you know, stuff in it. Um, this month's prompt, of course, is January 2018. And what we're going to talk about this month is, what do you do? Everybody does resolutions and blah, blah, blah. No. We're just going to talk about new beginnings. Um, are they going to be spiritual for you this year? Are they going to be personal for you this year? How about, um, you know, what do you want to do with your art? I got too much stuff on my desk. It's driving me nuts. Um, what do you want to do in your art? Maybe it's something you want to focus on your art. Maybe you want to take some classes or um, something in that, that nature. Let's get some paint down. What do we got here? This is deco art. Crafter's acrylic. Let's just put down some paint. Now, this is going right on paper. I am not putting gesso on here, which is fine. No big deal. All right, we got some green. Oh, I like this teal. Let's use some of this teal. Again, this is deco art. So apparently I've put a thing of deco art paints up here. So what are you going to focus on this year? Um, myself. Oh, I've made a commitment to myself to work on my chronic pain. And when I say work on it, um, 
I need to do more of, of the accepting. I really do. I need to understand that I have to make choices that are smart for me. And that doesn't mean, you know, not using tools that I have, meaning my cane, my scooter, my ice machine, my TENS machine. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's some days it's just like, oh, I don't want to do that. And I've got to stop. That's got to stop. I need to use the tools I have. It's going to help me make my life easier. Um, I need to just accept it. You know, I've done a lot of accepting in a lot of ways, but then again, there's also some ways I have not. So, I want something different in here. Let's put a little bit of light blue. I don't know, I'm in a blues and greens mood, apparently. I was working on some other videos, and yeah, I was using blues and greens. But, um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to work on this year. Uh, more about accepting and more about just understanding that, you know, it is got goober goober on it um just understanding that yeah you know i can do this i got too much paint on there hmm. all right no baby we'll put some more of that yellow green back on why not why not because we can because we can all right i'm gonna have these papers so full of paint but you know what it's all good because use it I say use up the paint. Look at that. So fun. Love the colors. Okay, so what are you going to focus on this year? Any idea? I am going to dry this up really well. Then I'm going to do some journaling on top of it. And then we're going to keep going. We're going to add some more stencils and paints and we're just going to have fun. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I just took a regular... Um, Uniball Signal uh, UM153 pen and I just did some journaling which is all cool and now just looking for my black paint just have some black paint here this paint's really weird I don't know if it's just old or but it's really weird you'll see when it comes out I'll show you this looks really strange it's got a hole in it hear that I have a hole somewhere up top. Oh well. Um, it's just very thick. It's like a. See how thick it is? I know it's a heavy, you know, it's like a real heavy bodied, and I don't usually have real heavy body paint. But, anyways. Alright, so I've got some black paint here, and I've decided today I'm going to use. Let me just show you what I'm doing here getting some black paint on my sponge here um, I'm gonna use one of Gina Aaron's stencils I love this stencil and you know I haven't used it yet so I'm really excited about using it and I'm gonna put this girl right here because you know what this is the beginning of the year and I'm exploring me right so let's just give her an outline not that I'm not doing it real dark see how light it is because I don't want just a, a you know great big black outline of her that's not what I'm looking for I just want a guide and that's how I like using the female or any of the stencils that have um, faces it's just as a guide all right so let's look at it before I take my it up I'm just gonna look at it like this okay I got a little bit of a guide there but I want a little bit more on the eyes just a touch more let's get it you know, so she has some eyes and nose and mouth. Let's look again. And again, I'm not moving it. I'm just going to flip it up. Yeah, she's cool. You like her? So there's a guide. And no, I'm not going to wash that stencil. Now it's just because I don't want to. But anyway, so this is going to go in here. All right. So I have a little guide of my female. So that's me. Ha <laughs> ha. And... We've got a bunch of other stencils here, but I'm not sure what colors I'm going to use yet. So, purple. Yeah, we knew we were going to use purple, right? We got out some purples. Here's a little bit of white. I have a little bit of a flesh. This is a funky flesh, but we're going to use it. So, I'm going to put it right here on my um, 
what I'm using for a palette today. You never know, my palettes always change. So let's just, let's get her outlined here a little bit. I just want a little bit of her, you know, she doesn't have to be perfect. We aren't perfect, right? She doesn't have to be messy either, but we're not perfect either, so. But I just want to put a little bit of pink down so I know where she's at. This is like a fleshy pink. I'm not... I wish I could find the color or make the color that I like for flesh. You know, I like it to be a little bit tanned, but not... I don't know. Give me a good recipe. Send them to me. Let me know. I probably could do it if I played around with it, but I hate wasting mm -hmm. paint like that. I just think that's wrong. Oops. So... We are just, and again, remember, this is just a composition notebook. This is no big deal. If you make a mistake, oops, turn the page. You know, it's it's not, that's not what this is about. This is about playing, um, thinking a little bit about yourself, you know, what, what you might want to work on this year. Um, think about, you know, just you. Think about you. All right. Enough of that pink stuff. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of this kind of pink. Oh, come here, pink. This kind of pink. And I'm really just going to go to town with this girl. I'm just going to have fun with her. Doesn't really matter, does it? She's going to be pink, and she's going to be blue, and she's going to be white, and she's going to be flesh-colored, and what, why not? Now we're just going to... And see, you know, the, the paint is, or the paper's wrinkling a little bit. That's okay. I don't care. It's no big deal. I want a little bit of tan on her. Where's my tan? Um, here's another flesh. Let's see if this one's a little bit, yeah, this one's a little bit darker. See the difference? That one's lighter. This one's a little bit darker. So it's kind of got a little bit of a tan to it. Not much, but... But this is fun. This is what I like to do. I love to just come in and sit down in my journal and just just play. And, you know, have fun. Enjoy the process. Not worry about the outcome. But, you know, still play in the paint. And it's so nice because it does tend to get my mind off the pain. Not completely. This is not something that's going to make your pain just go away. Doesn't happen that way. Um, these are some purples. These are all deco arts for some reason. I think I put a whole thing of deco arts up here in my thing. They, used to, they were selling them for a while there in those packs. I don't need this anymore. I don't need this either. Um, they were selling them in the, the packs like in... Michaels or in I don't know Lowe's or something like that and I bought a couple packs of them so I still have some more paint so here's my purpled hair girl right now my hair is a <laughs> is a mixture of purple and pink and teal and what was the other one blue so and what's so funny is um we were sitting here in the art room a while ago. And my husband says, honey, brown's just not cutting it. I'm like, what are you talking about? Your hair. You have to go get it done again. Because I was thinking seriously letting it grow, just grow back out to the brown it is. He's like, no, it doesn't cut it. You gotta go get it done. Okay. So I went and got my hair done again. So I'm just putting a base coat of purple down around her just because I can. Just purple. And then I'm going to take some of that pink. Some of the pink. Just to lighten it a little bit. Why not? And then, where's the blue? I want the darker blue. This is one right here. This is a navy blue. A little bit of navy blue in here, too. Yeah. I 
like it. I like it. Okay, so there she is. Let's keep working on her. We got to get some white in her eyes and some color. Let me. You know what? I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna let that dry. We're gonna. We're going back to the face in a minute. Let's let that dry. I want to get some more stencils down over here. So um, here's a couple more of Gina's stencils, which I really like. Now, in my year this year, um, I want to, like I said, I, we were talking about focusing. I'm going to use black. I'm not sure why, but I'm going to. Um, you know, I'm going to focus on the acceptance more of the chronic pain of using the tools that I need to use, of um, making sure that I'm taking myself, taking care of myself the best way possible. Because if I don't, um, it just causes me more pain. I'll be honest; it just it hurts. And you would you would think I would learn, you know? Hey, you can't do that crap. Oh yoy! So this year is going to be about listening. Listening, accepting, learning. So that's going to be my, my personal growth, I guess. Well, let's put one more here. And that's what I'm looking forward to. So, and we need one more. Let's do one more down here. Perfect spot. Okay, I like that. Good job. Next. Right now I'm all about playing with stencils. I actually ordered more stencil girls. Stencils. They're going to be so much fun. Do I want to use that one? No, no. I just have a bunch here that I haven't put in any binders or anything yet. Just things I want to use. Let's see. I don't like this one. Use this and we're going to use some purple um i want some more of this purple around the page i like it so just put a little bit more out there and we're just going to use some purple doesn't that sound good yeah 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 that's what i'm talking about so what are you going to focus on this year or what are you looking for any personal growth? Are you looking for spiritual growth? Um, you know what? You know, everybody does resolutions. I'm going to lose 30 pounds and blah, blah, blah. I, you know, I can't do that. I just, I need to work on me. <laughs> um, you know, the chronic pain me before I can get into, you know, I don't know. I've just never been a resolution person. So... A little bit right there. Yeah, I'm loving her. And I'm gonna leave this right here because I am gonna journal actually so I can see it, understand it. <laughs> when I do this kind of journaling, this is about me saying, you know, you've got to, you have to wake up and you have to understand that, you know, you can't do the things that you've been doing and expect to be you know, in your normal pain mode. It's not working. So, you know, I like this film strip. You know what? Let's take this film strip and what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the boxes. I wonder if I have one just of boxes. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I'm going to use this. Um, and in these boxes, I want to write things that I'm going to do. Uh, do I want to write it on this? Let's do white. I want to write things that I am going to do to listen to myself, to use my devices, to have more of a pain-free lifestyle. Makes sense? So here's one. Here's two. And I'm going to put these all over the page. You know, why not? Ew, I got it in my flesh. Fleshy white. <laughs> I see it squished up under. 
That's all right. Let it squish. Um, let's put one right here. There's three. Let's put one right here. Doo -doo, doo -doo. My phone's going crazy. In there. Let's put one here. I've missed recording. Um, you know, I hadn't been doing it for a few months at the end of the year last year because I just dealing with a lot of pain and um, it gets to you. It really gets to you. So let's do one more down here. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That works. Okay. So I gotta get these dry. Now what I'm gonna do is use a little bit of the white. Let's get her some eyes. Let's let that white dry. And we're gonna get her some eyes together. Some eyebrows. I don't know why I always do eyebrows funky, but I do. That's all right. Eyelid and eye. Get her there. Get her there. Another eye. See, doesn't she start to look like a female now? She's pretty. There's her nose and her lips. Okay, so let's take white. Um, let us smaller white. This one's smaller? Yeah, it's a smaller white. I have to be careful because that black ink is still wet in some spots. Okay. Now I need to get a tiny brush, which is just this little bitty filbert. It's a number six filbert comb. Just an itty bitty brush. Get it wet a little bit. And then I'm going to put some flesh tone down by her. Just do a little bit of touch up. And I think my hubs just came home, so going to go say hi to him for a minute and then we'll come back and we will finish up our girl and we will do our journaling on what we're going to do to make this year better right okay so I will be right back all right so now we're just going to finish putting in I need she's got a bunch of blue still in her eyes so we're going to take care of that I may actually end up just leaving her with blue eyes, which is fine. They're kind of like a bluish green, which is okay. Right? So we're just throwing a little bit of paint here and there so she's not quite so blue. So let's do that. And we'll go down her neck a little bit. I'm not worried about it down here. It's no big deal. She's good. All right, let me take this brush. And I just want a little touch of that black on there. I just want to give it a little bit of shadow down in here. Water on that. 
just a touch of that black. I just I don't want it quite so much. Just like a gray. There we go. Get rid of that green under her chin. Get some of the gray around here. You know, let's just give her a little bit of shadows here and there. I'm not hugely great at doing shadows on faces and stuff. I have a hard time with it. But, you know, I am not perfect and I don't ever want to be. So I am just enjoying what I do. And, hey, if she looks almost like a female, I'm happy. <laughs> so, you know, would I love to be better? Yeah. It takes a lot of practice and... You know, it's all good. It's all good. All right, now we're just going to give a little bit of highlights through here. Use some of that other pink. Throw a little white in it. You know, why not? Her nose. Bridge of her nose. Mm, she looks all right. She's okay. Here, we're gonna give her some more pink cheeks too. Where's her pink? Pink's all gone. I could sit here and I probably could play with this face for hours. Um, I am not gonna do that though because I have company coming tonight um, from North Carolina. So I won't be here that long tonight. There we go. All right, now I want to give her some red. I don't want red. I don't want pink. How about these kind of lips? Let's do this color. It's cranberry wine, and this one is um, an Americana acrylic paint. So we're just going to give her some cranberry wine lips. Maybe a little bit more cranberry wine lips. She's cute. She is so cute. And then we gotta put some highlight on her lips because we don't want her lips to be all one color. Right? So let's grab a little bit of that white. Let's put a little bit here. Maybe a little bit through here. How's that sound? Yeah, just a little bit. All right. Now, let's figure out the rest of her face. Um, let's let that dry for a minute. Because I don't want to mess it up. And that's one of the things I tend to do, is I tend to go back in and mess stuff up while I'm, you know, creating it. Because I don't have the patience to let it dry. So, I want to work on these. This is a pen that I told you guys about in another video. It's called a Pen Gear Permanent Marker. I learned about this pen from Mary, the Atelier, um, on YouTube. She's um, a good friend of mine, and you can get these at Walmart, two of them, for $0.44. Cents. And they are wonderful because they just, um, they, they write on acrylic paint, you know, so easy. And I mean, it's, think about it, this acrylic paint has it cured. Granted, it's not big globs of it. But it's so much so easy to color with this marker that, um, and the price of them, forty-four cents for two of them, you can't beat it. So they are in the office section in Walmart, and they are um, almost to where you see your sharpies, and that's where you will find them. So now I'm just gonna bring out her eyes again. Like I said, I'm going to leave that blue there. Oh, she got a little bit thick eye. Oh, well. Yep, see? I mess with it. And that's what happens. Cindy messes it up. But you know what? It's all good. She pretty. Oh, 
Okay, I like her, so I'm going to leave her alone. All right, so now what are we going to talk about? I'm, what we're going to do is I'm going to acceptance, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is listen to my body. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is use my tools. Okay, so I'm going to put on here, these are my tools. My cane and my scooter. Oh, this TENS unit, which um, I was actually using a little while ago. My ice machine. my pain patches um, and meds my um, um, think 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 my pain patches my meds um, pain management time And what I mean by that is I need to listen to my body and I need to take that pain management time um, when I hear my body telling me it's got to, it's time to stop. And last but not least, um, let's see, what else? Um, my support system. And by that, I mean my husband, my friends. I have um, quite a few friends that are just fabulous um, to me when um, you know I need an ear to just somebody to just listen okay so that's what this year for me is gonna be about is um, you know this is gonna be my growth and this is gonna be how I'm gonna look at 2018 and I'm really really excited about it I can't wait to um, have that full 100% acceptance and just be able to use my devices and have fun with it you know just have fun with life you know we only we're only here once let's let's enjoy it and why do we you know make so much um, work on ourselves we shouldn't be doing that we should just enjoy our life and I just had an idea what I want to do here so I'm gonna do it I just like this washi tape All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Like I said, definitely check out the other artists in the description box below. Uh, send them some love. I'm sure we're all going to have our own take on it. And um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. And I will see you next month. Talk to you soon. Bye.